Now, I'm sure most of you guys know that on this channel, we love to play a lot of horror games. I mean, if you check back at my recent videos, you're going to see a lot of that stuff. You know, I've taken it upon myself to group a lot of the indie games that we play, however, into the three random game series. But once every so often, there pops up a game idea that is just so unique. It's like three random games, dedicated video. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is the game we're going to be playing today. This is called Map Friend. I'm a sucker for any type of unique indie game that gets made. And this one looks so weird. Like, from the previews, what the freak is this? Like, Google Maps horror game? Like, I need to see what's going on. This just reminds me so much of, you know, those YouTube videos where it's like top creepiest things ever seen on Google Maps. Exploring is fun with Map Friend. Yeah, we're gonna see what crazy stuff he takes us to. You think he's gonna take us somewhere nice? I don't think so. Hang on a moment. Now, if you're sitting here on Google Maps and you've got the earthquake in the background going off, probably get to your nearest basement and shout her up. Oh, I can type in this game. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to a game called Map Friend. This is just such a unique idea. I have to see what this is all about. It seems very interesting as a premise. Looking like we're back in maybe the early 2000s. We're sitting here at our computer in the darkest... Okay, what the freak was that? This is actually scaring me even at the menu. We got this Google Maps type thing. Oh, we can drag around and explore this. I mean, let's go ahead and play this game, you know? Let's see what's going on here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I think you know exactly what to do, but let's go ahead and see what dark secrets map friend has locked away for us. Oh, look, there he is right there. Click it. Hey. Oh, we drag and drop him. Hey, uh, he don't look happy. Look at his body wiggling. <laughs> Pop you back right there. So we have this map layout. Look around what looks to be a wooded forest. We got this little thing here. If we... Okay, we can't click that. Oh, we can zoom in. Yo, this is crazy technology. Look at this. Places, layers. Okay, so this thing is all broken. We see this. Let me just drop this dude in. Like, if I pick this dude up... Uh, okay, you go there. Oh, hey, here we go. Dang, this is like ancient, you know? Did you know? Click on the location and go there. Explore this fun with map, friend. Yeah, we'll see about that. Hey, look, this is like early days 3D Google Maps. Oh, wait, well, can we go anywhere we want? It's kind of weird. Hold on. Let me go to the edge of the water. It's popping up out here. Can we go in the water? Hold on. All right, cameraman, how are you out here? I'm just saying. All right, bud. Uh, we'll go exploring with you. Did you know? To go back to the map, click on me. Yay! Yeah, all right. Get the freak off my screen. Something weird is going to happen, guys. I'm telling you. So, can we zoom out? We can't do anything with this. Uh, am I looking for something? Map friend, is, what's the reason for this location? Like, why here? Westwater, is that Illinois? I'm going to have to imagine. I have no idea. I ain't seen anything pop out immediately, so that means we probably gotta get moving, explore a little bit. We've got like a mountain ridge here. This game has to be like in the zone though. Like I feel like we're gonna find something really jacked up. Why does that thought excite me? Well, that does, the hell, I mean, that don't seem right though. You know what I'm trying to say? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed walk this. I feel like we haven't found anything yet, and there's gotta be something here, right? Location was mapped out. Hop over the ridge. We got like a hillside here. We see the trees coming in focus. Map friend, what is the point of this location, huh? Bro says like click on him to go back. Is that the wait, hold on, hold on, hold up. So we were down there. Wait, what the freak is this? It's like another one here. You see this? Okay. Uh, hey, map friend, what's this? We have to click on this. So back on ourselves, I completely jacked that up. Willow Forest, joshnatureview.com, and definite top 10 forest in Illinois State. Number five, the Willow's Forest. I put this relatively unknown forest at number five. Willow's Forest is actually really beautiful in spring. It's not super big, but it's worth the excursion. Especially the views on Westwater Lake are great from here. I go with my family every now and then, so be sure to let me know if you're going. Did you know my friend finds the best, most up-to-date info about your favorite location? Just shut up! And so, uh, 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 uh. Hey, uh, uh, what the freak is this? Uh, hey, dude. What is going on? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just click this dude because we want to hop back out. We get the little sound effect as well. Okay, we see that. So did I just go all the way over here right there? You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know. If I click that, I, I have no idea, guys. Hey, okay, buddy, I'm gonna drop you back in there real quick. So we didn't click on this. Hurry up, we are loading, man. Where's this internet speed? 0.01 megabytes? Hit this location. So, 12th West Water View. Can you stop? I'm trying to read, sir. West Water View is a parking spot that provides camping amenities to visitors of West Water. Camping amenities are limited, but the day fee is very cheap at just $3 per day. Did you know Map Friend automatically gathers facts about locations? All right, I mean, we're starting to see that, so... Uh, where's the little jumpy globe thing? Hey, do the jumpy globe thing. What's going on here? We good? Ah. Uh, Hey, where's my jumpy globe? Or maybe, like, that was not the location we go. So hop back out one moment. Maybe we didn't actually need to go there. Or maybe when we got dropped into that location, we walked up to, like, here somewhere. Let's, uh, drop out in the forest right now? Let's see. Okay, this is loading in. 
Is this where we was before? Now, this don't look like it. It really doesn't. We see there's another spot right there. We hit this thing. Ooh. This is where we was before. So, wait, why didn't the one back on ourselves give us any new information on this place? And we're going right there. Okay, so, what's over by the water? There's like a trail here and stuff. This game, by the way, was made by the same developer as No Players Online. If you guys ever played that one, that was a very unique horror game. It was like there was some kind of evil locked within a game. I think like the dude who created the game's wife or something. Like the law was weird. It was a, it was a weird game. Hop in this one. 5-5 five, five Willow Beach Road. Willow Beach is located on the shores of Lake Westwater. The closest town is Westwater Township. As of the 2004 census, its population was 567 and contained 280 housing units. The town is most known for the infamous Peterburg airstrip where the... Where the what? Oh, oh, I'm getting out. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Boom. Get wrecked. Wow, another explore. Can't click those. He's, he's enjoying them though. He's liking these. If we zoom back out for one second here, why can't we get that last one that was located there? I'm, I'm pretty confused now. I'm gonna try it one more time. It feels like we should be able to collect this one, but it doesn't give us any new information. Hey, who are you? Like, why isn't this important to you? This is making me think immediately. So the other two locations, we've learned about this. Let me actually hop in here. So this location spoke about, let me see, it's about the Willow's Forest. So we've got this information. If I go back to the other one, I think the only other bit we got is that there's a small town and some kind of airstrip, but then that one cut out immediately. So why is it withholding information about the airstrip? Can I hit these up here? Oh, bro. Yeah, look, they removed something. The town is most known for the infamous Peterburg airstrip. Why did they remove that? Why would they get rid of that? Do we have to walk the trail? Kind of interesting how we can actually do all of this as well on this game. It's really unique. Hit that there. Yo, the world just ends. Uh, that is kind of creepy. So we can't go off the trail. That means there's something within this area, another landmark we're yet to find. So what is that going to hold? And why isn't that appearing on this map friend app? This dude, you know he's keeping dark secrets. There's something messed up about to happen eventually. So we see this one. We've seen you many times. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, good to see you again. Freaking useless. Gonna keep walking the trail, going all the way around. It's, just, it's a relatively small island, so we must eventually get to something here. Like we've got another island over there. Let's do some investigating. Yep, you see, we've got this one. That's the landmark we've already seen. So can we actually go over here to this spot? It's a small section that is also out in the water, but it looks like the map might end on it. Go out a little bit at least. Uh, hey, I'm running. I'm running over the wall. Let's go. There is a small strip here, but there's like, there's nothing here, game. There's nothing here. So we've been all around here. We've checked out this upper corner. That means we've only really got this section here left for us to check out. So I'm going to drop you down there, buddy. Hold tight. Try and walk over this uh, edge here. And after this, we've explored the whole map. What the freak is this? I, d I did not see this before. I swear I looked over there too. Location number four. So this is parking. You know, I was wondering like, th this don't make sense. How do you get on this island? Like the parking is over the other side. What's... Wait, maybe something is wrong. I think you're looking for somewhere else. Latitude, longitude. Um... Oh my gosh. Great, you found an exploration orb. This game is actually weird. Yo, there's no information here. For some reason, the ambience here is oddly hard in this little game. It's like an investigation mystery. So why are you so sad? What was here before? Search for new places? Do I do I drop this back out? Ugh, okay. Search for new places. Hey, that thing's going ham. Where are we looking, Chief? Where are we looking? Well, not Westwater. What? Are you... Do, do I... Hold on, do I do this? Wait, what? Hello? Oh. We know where we're going. Ad care. I don't know what those coordinates are. Whoa, all right, here's our browser. What is this? Did you know? Where are we flying to now? I, I, guys, I don't know. I actually have no idea what the freak is going on. I don't like this. Hey, bud, we'll, we'll drop you in here. Okay, okay. Yeah, let it load in. Don't overthink anything right now. We haven't seen anything that should scare us. We, we might do soon, I ain't gonna lie. What is this? No information on this location. Why are you looking here? Wasn't it in the fo- Yo, what the freak is going on? My friend can't help you. What? Uh, give me that glow, yes. thank you. What the freak is going on? This is actually kind of unnerving. Back me out, back me out. Um, I'm scared. Didn't you know it was in the forest? Are we not in like a desert type location at the moment? Oh my goodness, so this loads in. Get straight to the point with the information, here we go. What is going- Hey, I was reading that! I'll take that. Okay, 
It keeps removing. Are you serious, game? No, no, no. Print screen. You ain't getting away with this. According to Western A3, reports of crashes are very something. In fact, their fatality record has been very low compared to something coming. Why well, I have to cover it with the cursor when I took the picture? CEO John Slater said in a statement, we are very concerned about the recent accident, but we ensure our customers that... And it stops right there. Wait, accident? It's talking about maybe a crash that occurred? A collision in the forest? Okay, I'm gonna jump back out. Did we get one of those messages also over here? Click on this. Uh... I mean, it shifts, but it's the same thing. So wait, who is map friend? This, this dude feels kind of sentient. Did he see something? He must have seen something that went down. Let's uh, check location number three. The N6 runs between North Africa, border. Oh, can you stop with this? You seem to be in an area with a lot of data. Are you sure you're- Yes, I am in the right space. This game is just freaking me out. The N6 runs between North Africa by the Mediterranean Sea in the north and the west, something bordered by the Atlantic Ocean in the south. A large part of it runs through Algeria or Algeria. The project was proposed in 1963 with construction started in the 70s. Due to the high cost of paving way for the desert, that something eventually abandoned in 72, reaching just halfway to the Algeria desert? Okay. Dude, this game's tripping. This game is tripping. Okay, I found an up. Great, great. I'm out of this thing. Yep. Show me those new places, sir. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm really interested in this game. So we know what to search now. Look at this. We typed that thing in. No mistakes. Boom. Flawless with that. Latitude, longitude, locking it in. Wait. The crosswinds were steady at 20 knots. Now it's 30 knots. Wait, hold up. You couldn't have known, Captain. Wait, what is going on? I feel like we've just found a huge mystery. Um, hey, but do you want to talk more? 20, 30 knots? There's a, a plane in the forest. That looks like a, a huge carrier. Oh, wait, why are there images of this? That means someone was here. You know what I mean? Someone was here at this moment in time, seeing this. Um, this is weird. It's like a person carrier. Hang on, go around to the front. In the forest... Yet the plane came down. I guess the plane completely crashed up. And here we are seeing this. Why are the images of this thing though? Hey, I'm on your plane, eh? Okay, hit this. Did you know? It should have been- What? Hey, what the heck is going on? What did we just witness? I am worried about what I've just put on my computer. I got you. I got you. I got this on camera. Something may not be accurate. Did you know it should have been you? It should have been you. Hold up. Wait, what? Okay, that gives a lot more of backstory for this game about maybe the person who's actually doing the browsing and also map friend. This doesn't feel like a Google Maps type thing now. I wonder if this is like a personalized app that someone has created. It's like, are we looking back on maybe something that we survived or something that we should have been a part of? Maybe we're one of the engineers on the plane or the company, maybe who behind it saying that, you know, the accident shouldn't have happened and we feel guilty and we're looking back on the accident. And could map friend be... Maybe someone who fell victim to this crash or something like that. That's where my immediate thought has gone. Like, map friend, this dude, it feels like an entity trapped within this app. Why, why was this thing made? And why does it only show those specific sites and give hints towards us about like, no, you gotta check maybe where the crash site is. So a plane went down. And there was all this information at the start. So why were we seeing that first location? Was that a complete like false flag? It meant nothing to us. And maybe we were just browsing and slowly part by part, map friend then began to manifest and lead us back to the crash site. That game left me feeling really uneasy. It wasn't like a jump scare fest. And sometimes I feel like that's what makes games like even better. When you can just immerse yourself in a weird moment that is trying to replicate. And I feel like this game did it really well. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below on this game. It was weird and it was very interesting with the whole way it's portrayed. Perhaps I've missed some things. It feels like a game where maybe small flashes of text on the screen will probably tell more of the story than anything else. Really, really awesome game. I'm glad I spent the time to play this one. It makes a change from games constantly being like, Ugh. I couldn't help but get some kind of Amanda the Adventurer vibes. Definitely doesn't play anything like it, but it's that same sort of creepiness. Either way though, guys, that is gonna do it. That was a map friend. If you guys do wanna play this game for yourself, you can of course check the description down below. But that is gonna do it for this one, guys, and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos? Just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. Did I just scare you? I, I was just trying to, you know, do something kind of creepy. Sorry, I, I, di I didn't mean it. I'm sorry.